little of the internet. I'm going to do a what I got for Christmas. If this camera lasts, <laughs> it's just flashing, the screen's flashing. I'm going to do what I got for Christmas. Um, I'm going to point the camera, so I'm just eating a chocolate Father Christmas. <laughs> I'm going to point the camera down so you can see what I got. So I'm just going to change the angle. This is better than holding everything up. So let me see. Yeah, right. So this is the what I got. Oh, actually, let's do this in order. So on basically the way that we do it is that you get uh, your stocking on your bed, which is what Father Christmas brings. And this is what I got in my stocking. So that was on my bed. So I got a <laughs> Faber Castell Castell uh, pencil sharpener which is obviously, and it's got like the multiple different holes in it so you can sharpen your pencils. There is a bit of a theme to what I got in my stocking. I got um, three Derwent water brush brushes. Um, I do have a number of water brushes, but they've either gone all fluffy or you know, gone rubbish. I also got two Derwent blender pens, which I've never tried. And these are for blending uh, pencil out so I'm looking forward to playing with those and then uh, Derwent this is not sponsored by Derwent by the way <laughs> my husband just knew I wanted I had these in my Amazon wish list and I think they was on special offer over um, hold on let me shut the door because my husband's unloading the dishwasher making loads of noise Derwent had a Black Friday sort of discount thing so I think he sort of stocked up on Derwent things and these are the metal pencil extenders which is great. So basically, um, I've got all those pencil -y things in my stocking. I also got um, a long Apple cable for charging my iPhone or my iPad. Um, it might have to go back because so far it doesn't seem to work. <laughs> and then my husband also got me these two portable... These are really quite good. They're like for putting in your handbag or on your keys lucky like comes running over thinking it's something to eat and it's a it is just a what's the it's not called a fire wire cable what's the cable called it's the apple oh, i don't know the apple cable there we go so it's just a short usb one end apple cable the other for charging your apple and mainly this is to go in my handbag because i have one of those char power charging things but i didn't have a spare cable and so this is to go in my handbag with my power bank thing for when I'm out and about. And he's bought me two because the other one is to go in the car. <laughs> because that's the other thing. We seem to, the battery always runs out when we're in the car, so I don't the car. And then the other thing he got me was <laughs> this little voodoo doll, which is um, the karma. It says, always remain calm. I will help you keep your head when all around you are losing the plot. Um, which is, you know, for my anxiety. So, and obviously I've got some chocolate buttons and I've got some chocolate father Christmases, which I have nearly all eaten. I think there's some left. I'm actually filming this on the 1st of January. <laughs> um, and it's just because we're sort of like putting everything away. So that's how many. I've got those as well. And I've got one left, so I've eaten four of them. And I think there's a few left in there. So that's the chocolate that I've got in my stocking. And that's what I got in my stocking. Okay, so now I'm going to go on to the main gifts from my husband. Oops, I missed one stocking thing. He bought me this, <laughs> which is a glasses holder. And I bought him one a few years ago, and it's like a face, like, um, it's just like a face. And I really like it. He has it his side of the bed. And I said, oh, I wouldn't mind something like that. And instead of the face, he got me the lips, which I don't like as much. But he said, I bought them because they mean I love you. So the fact that... You <laughs> I do leave my obviously at night I take my glasses off and they go by the side of the bed so I probably will use it so they was all in my stocking so then for Christmas presents I got this heat pad which is going to be brilliant because I have got um, obviously called fibrositis no it's not called fibrositis what's it called I have that pain in my back what's it called Oh, so the inflamed, the inflamed stuff between the rib cage, 
and I'm forever saying, oh, give me a hot water bottle, give me a hot water bottle. So this is in, instead of a hot water bottle, I'll be able to sort of like that wrap that round my painful back. So it's a really useful present. The other thing he got me is this tiny little microphone, which I'm hopefully going to use to when I'm doing the video in. So this will plug into the camera. I've still got my old camera at the moment. Um, so that when I'm talking, you might actually be able to hear me or the sound might actually be better. Um, it's got really good reviews. It wasn't expensive. And I know you can get bigger, fancier ones that clip on and all this kind of stuff. But I didn't really want that. I just wanted something that would like, you know, that might help. Then the other thing he got me was, and I did actually ask for something like this. This is, it's a sleep mask with headphones. What I wanted is I like listening to like audio books and stuff as I'm drifting off to sleep. It helps my brain sort of like shut down. <laughs> um, and so I wanted some headphones that I could like fall asleep in. And so he's bought me this, which is a mask, an eye mask, and it's got headphones built into it. And so you basically, you can put it on, fall asleep, and it will talk to you. Or you can use it on an aeroplane or just anywhere where you want to listen, you know, shut the world out and everything nice and quiet and just listen to either music or um, you know, meditation stuff or whatever. Then this is kind of almost a joke present but not quite. Um, I have, I can't drive. I had, I did learn to drive when I was 18. A company that I was working for was putting me through, it was like a two week uh, intensive driving course and my driving test was booked on the Friday at the end of that two weeks. And basically there was a massive walkout on the Wednesday at the company that I worked for. So I never actually took my test. So I learned to drive pretty much, but I never took my test. And then I moved right into central London in Holborn. And there's absolutely no way you can have a car, own a car if you live in central London, because there's nowhere to park it. Um, and you don't, you don't need one. You just get a bus everywhere, literally, or you walk everywhere. I used to walk to work. Um, so... I've never, I've never done my driving test, and it's only really since we've moved out of London and live here now, because we're just a little bit, we're about eight, eight miles, six miles, we're about five miles outside of Stratford, eight miles outside of the city, you know, like the, the working city. And I could do with a car and learning to drive, and so one of my goals for next year um, is to learn to drive. And so he's bought me this driving test the UK's most complete learner driving test, so it's theory test and ha ha you know, hazard perception. It's like the prep work to starting to learn to drive. And then this was in my... I didn't know I was getting this. I never asked for it. It's a Nintendo Entertainment System, the new sort of like little mini one that's got all the games loaded on it. A long time ago, when the world was young, I used to work at a computer game store. It was my... Second job after leaving school, I worked at McDonald's when, while I was at school. And then when I left school, I got a job at a software um, retail store. And I started off in one of their stores, and then I started on doing their accounts, and then I ended up being their EPOS operations manager. I was there for about eight years. But I was around, like, when all the big... <laughs> when computer games was really big, like Commodore 64s and Spectrums and... Um, Nintendo's had just come out and I was one of the first people in the UK to own a Sega Master System. In fact, I was one, I was the first person in the UK to own a Sega Master System. There was only four that was brought over from Japan and I owned the first one that was sold to a consumer. And so I was years and years ago, like when I was between 18 and 25, I was, you know, this was my industry, the big <laughs> Nintendo and Sega and Legend of Zelda and Castlevania and so he bought me this as a kind of like blast to my past and you know he saw it and he pre-ordered it in about June so that's all I got from my husband for Christmas and they're what I opened on Christmas day but he had ordered me something else but it wasn't coming to after Christmas and I had no idea what it was and it arrived on Wednesday so the Wednesday between Christmas and New Year and I was quite shocked when I opened it because he'd actually bought me one of these <laughs> which is a macbook pro laptop now i don't actually have any laptop at the moment well i have my work laptop i get issued a laptop from work um, which is configured so that when i turn it on it automatically logs into the work network it's part of the work 
system. So it basically has everything on it, connects to their servers, I can get their data. Um, so I don't ever use it for anything other than work because obviously it's their computer, it's configured on their network. I don't want to be sitting on there listing stuff on eBay and stuff like that um, using the work computer. So I do have a laptop, but it belongs to work. So I don't actually have, I did used to have a laptop. God, I can't remember the last laptop I had. Let's see if husband remembers. Husband? What was the last laptop I had? Oh my word. We're both trying to remember. The only thing we can remember is a tiny little, um, I had a little tiny Samsung NC10 or whatever it was called, which basically I wore out. And before that, I had another work computer, which wasn't wired into the network that I did use. So I've never really had a laptop. Um, but he decided that I should be getting a, a MacBook, um, which... And he's had it all amped up as well, so he had like extra, me this is why it took so long to come, because he had um, extra memory in, put in it, and an extra hard disk, and he's sort of like, and here it is, I've already bought a cover for it, <laughs> so that it, um, and I've been playing with it, yeah, here it is, here it is, the MacBook Pro, so that's really nice, because I didn't buy him anywhere near anything as expensive as that, so, but I didn't get that till after Christmas, so I didn't know about it. And then these, it seems like I've got such a lot, I feel really spoiled. Um, these are the presents that my mum bought me when she, she also did me a stocking. And in my stocking from my mum, I got this lovely green scarf. She knows I love green. And last year she bought me a turquoise one and I loved it. And this year she bought me a green one. She also bought me Big Bang Theory top trumps and it's a bit of a joke because when we was kids we always got top trumps in our stocking and me and my brothers used to play it just incessantly and I like the Big Bang Theory and so she was like she, she said she saw them and she was like I've got to get them for your stocking because you know sort of like a long-standing joke she also bought me now I think I told you when my family came around we just play games almost incessantly <laughs> We love playing games as a family. And this is the Pointless mini game. Last year we had, we bought the Pointless game, which is a TV quiz show on the TV. And we um, really, really enjoyed playing it. But it was just sort of like, we had to kind of rewrite the rules because it wasn't that great. And she said she saw this and she thought it might be better. So she bought that for my stocking. And then she also bought me the QI travel game because I like watching QI. And, um, you know, they're the perfect sock stocking size things, really, aren't they? And then there was also, there was some chocolate in there. A bar of chocolate. And there was something else to eat. Can't remember, but whatever it is, I've eaten it. <laughs> and then for, my mum actually bought me and my husband a joint present. And it was two board games. She bought me the full QI board game, which... We played a couple of times. It is not the easiest game to play. We really enjoyed the questions in it, but the way you move around the board and kind of thing, we sort of did the rules a bit differently than they said it wasn't. I think we just have to keep sort of practicing how to play it. And then the other game she bought us, so these were presents between, you know, between me and my husband, is that she bought the Articulate Your Life board game. We have really our lived. It's all our board games are here. And we've all got the really old Articulate game, which we love playing. And so this is like the new version. Um, unfortunately, the timer that it comes with in it wasn't working. So we've had to contact the company and get a new one. But we played it without the timer anyway. We just used like a stop, stopwatch or an egg timer or whatever to play it. And so that's it. So that's, that's what I got for Christmas. And I think I did rather well. So um, the other presents, let's put them on top. They're the bits I got from my mum. Um, these are the bits that I got from my husband. So they're the things I got from my mum. They're the bits I got from my husband. And these are the things that I got from Father Christmas in my stocking. And that pile of games over there are the games we've been playing with. And I shall just take... Oh, there's one more thing that I didn't show you. Um, my husband's dad in the nursing home... Basically, 
I was talking to him about doing the hoover and everything, and he decided he wanted to buy me a new hoover. Um, vacuum cleaner. You don't call it hoover over there, do you? So he and husband got together and decided they was going to buy me this Dyson VA Absolute fancy whatever it is, portable thing. So um, my husband's dad bought that for us as a present. And then while I'm over here, I might also show you what I bought Hasbro. Hasbro got the Works jaw saw. That's what I bought him. It's, um, it's like a chainsaw, but it's in like a grippy thing, so it's more safe. And I also bought him the extension pole for it. Eee! Because if you can probably see, we've got massive trees in the garden that need regular pruning, and it costs about £300 a time every time we do it. So we thought it might be easier to do it ourselves. I also, you can come in baby, I'm just talking to the camera. I also brought him um, the Oral-B fancy black electric toothbrush. Um, just because I have one and he wanted one. I don't know, why did you want an electric toothbrush? Because I've got one. I've had my one for years and you've never really used an electric toothbrush. I also brought him a checked long sleeve shirt which looked really nice I bought him two Dave Gorman DVDs we've caught, got into the Dave Gorman, Gorman Modern Life is Goodish series and so um, and we sort of we went back and watched all seven series six series on catch up TV and so we thought they'd be funny um, I bought him this this is an experience it's called Fun Together, and you basically get to do one of, I don't know, there's about 930 things you can choose from. So it's things like afternoon tea, or visiting a castle, or you can go scuba diving. So I bought that so we can do that together. What else did I get you, babe? You had the work saw, the shirt, the thing. That's it, isn't it? I didn't get you anything else. Well, you got add your stocking presents, didn't you? Actually, I can tell you what you've got. The other thing were heads for the toothbrush. <laughs> he's already got them upstairs, though, because he's already obviously using the toothbrush. So, yeah, that was all the stuff we got for Christmas. We did rather well, didn't we? Um, obviously, the other thing I got that I forgot to mention is the company that I work for. They gave me a £100 Amazon voucher, um, which I have spent some of it to buy the cover for my Apple MacBook, whatever it's called, I'm going to have to learn that, I can't wait. And what else did I buy with it? I bought something else as well. Oh, can't remember. Oh, a charging unit thing. And the other thing, obviously I didn't get a camera, and fair enough, because I got a bloody MacBook instead. But what I did have is £250 worth of John Lewis vouchers that I have been, last Christmas, last Christmas, I gave you my heart. Oh, better not sing that, have I? Um, the company that I work for gave us a £200 John Lewis gift voucher. And then throughout the year, I got various vouchers from them. So I had enough, almost, I was a little bit short, to buy a new camera from John Lewis. So we went there yesterday, we looked at the cameras, they didn't have <laughs> the camera that I wanted. So we all did it, and we'll be able to collect it tomorrow. So as of tomorrow, I'll have a brand new camera, which I actually purchased with my Christmas, the work vouchers that Christmas, for Christmas. <laughs> the vouchers I got for Christmas from work last year. And it's nice because I finally bought something with them that I needed. So that's it. That's my Christmas haul. And I feel like I've got so much, I feel really spoiled. And, um, yeah. So. And husband feels really spoiled too, don't you, husband? Yes. Anyway. Bye! What did you get for Christmas? I know what you got for Christmas. You got this toy. Father Christmas with his ripped off face and you've got the stocking. Yes. Okay, come here. Tell everyone what you got for Christmas. I got the stocking. You didn't get the ball. 
You got a stocking and I got a fab Christmas. These are old toys. Old ebook book goodies. I got this. Daddy's eating though. <laughs> See you later.